Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and this channel is all about comic book drawings. Usually all traditional with pencils and inks. But since I got a lot of requests from you guys, I will teach you today how to do a comic book drawing digitally on my wife's iPad with Procreate. Make sure to watch the whole video for all the tips and don't forget to subscribe. So let's find the iPad. Here we go! First we will clean it up a bit. Now we will open Procreate, create a new file. There's one called Comic, 6 times 9.5 inches. Same aspect ratio like the 11 by 17 inch comic book paper I usually use. And now we will use this one, Apple Pencil. For sketching we will just use the pencil tool. I will just go with this one right here. I will stick to a grayish black tone like I'm used with my traditional drawings. Looks like this, but you can go nuts and use a red or a blue or a green pencil, whatever you like. Like in traditional drawings, I will start with a rough sketch. I will be drawing Bane by the way, which is in my opinion one of the coolest Batman villains there is. Let me know down in the comments which Batman villain do you think is the coolest one? Which one do you like the most? It's a very nice feature that you can just use your fingers to make everything bigger and smaller. That's a plus for digital drawings. Right on. And another thing that's really great when doing digital drawings. Check out the hands. I think it's nice, but I think it's a little bit too small. So I can go here. Then I have to choose this one where I can do a mask like this. Then I do copy and paste. And now I got an extra layer with this fist. Then I can use this one, make it bigger. Voila, new hand, just like that. Then I go to the layers again, pick the one I was drawing before, take the eraser and erase the thing that was beneath the fist. That's amazing, I have to admit that. Using the Apple Pen is quite different from using a pencil on a piece of paper because there's almost no friction coming from the glass of the iPad. It's almost slippery. I guess that's something you need to get used to. Also the fact that there's a glass panel between pen and paper. But it's manageable to get comfortable with these things after a short adoption. What's also really cool is this. You click this button and then you have the whole drawing like that. And you can center it, you see? If I wanted that traditionally, I would have to draw everything again. What's also quite nice is the pressure control. I can do a very soft line and when I use more pressure, it's getting darker, you see? I can show you that better with the inking later. And when you want to redo a step, you just take two fingers and go like that. But when you think, oh no, actually I like this line, you take three fingers and it's back again. Magic! But I actually didn't like this line. So, let's move on. Okay my friends, I'm done with the first sketch, the first draft. Now I will take a look at it this way. And now I can spot mistakes easily, like I guess this could be a little bit better looks a bit off. Didn't see that the other way around. And yeah, I guess it's better now. Otherwise, I think we're good. Ooh. I made him a bit bigger because I want to do a lot of details. The next step, I guess, will be inking already. Holy Merlin the Magician! In order to ink this thing, we will open up the layers, add an additional layer, and then we take this one and make him disappear a little bit. And now we can take this layer, take our inking tool. In my case, I will take this one right here. The color should be totally black, of course. And then we can try and do some ink lines. Let's start right here on the bicep. This works pretty fine, actually. You can see it responds really well to pressure. 
that's not bad, I have to say. Okay, so let's do some line weight here. The line weight for the main lines was done in no time. That's nice. And now we will take care of the strong blacks. I will stick to the same pen for that because I didn't find a better alternative. I'm sure there are way better options for that, but I don't know one. But if you want to dig deeper into this subject, you might want to consider to check out the sponsor of today's video. Yes, there is a sponsor, Artcraft. If you're interested in learning how to draw digitally in Photoshop or Procreate, you should take a closer look at the opportunities given by Artcraft. Their courses are suitable for beginners without skills in drawing and for those who want to change their game from traditional to digital art. Due to their teacher, Brian Koshu, a concept artist with more than 10 years of experience in this field, you will be able to draw digitally like a pro in just two months. What you can see in the background are some of the artworks from students of this program. Seems like it really works. You can try out a one-day pass for just $1.99 a standard or a premium pass. Link in description. Okay guys, but now back to the drawing. For the strong blacks we will create a new layer. And if you want to, you can try out an overall thing just to mess around a little bit. And then you can, you can take a look at how it looks from far away. And then you can pursue the right thing. But I will just go ahead and try and do the strong blacks as I think they should look and I can change them up anyway all the time so I think that should work out fine. So let's do some strong blacks. Okay guys, you can see the strong blacks are done. And I have to admit, same as with the lines, it's really going super fast. And now I will still stick to the same pen and do all the rendering and hatching and cross hatching and I'm very looking forward to that because I think this will also be a lot of fun doing digitally. So let's do that. For the hatching lines, I will reduce the size of the pen. Let's see. I guess that might work. Maybe a little bit bigger for the bigger ones. But I will adjust it as I go along. Yeah. Okay, let's do some hatching lines. Oh yeah, and same with the strong blacks, I will do an extra layer for those. Using an extra layer is really good because when you want to erase something like that, you just take the eraser and go over this and all is gone but nothing else is touched. That's very lovely. Okay, so let's do some proper hatching lines. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm pretty much done with all the rendering and hatching and cross hatching. You might have noticed that there are no veins yet. And I'm a sucker for big veins, so I will not leave out the chance to do some freaking veins on this vein creature. And normally I would draw them in right with my pencil sketch, but since we are going digital today, I wanted to do this. I will create an extra layer and I will use white and by the way if you want to draw with a particular color which is already on the screen, in my case it's white, you just have to touch it like this and it's white. So I can draw with white now. So let's do some freaking wings! This should be fairly simple now. 
Now we take black again and make a little bit of a shadow on this side because the light is coming from here so this will just be a negative space drawing and it, there will be some shades on this side of the vein. I guess it's working as I imagined because I've never tried this before guys. Nice! Also some hatching lines for the veins. Voila! Looks pretty cool. Okay guys, and I guess we're done. And what I wanted to show you now is a really cool thing because when I get rid of the veins, you can see that's the drawing without the veins. And that's with the veins. It's pretty cool to be able to take a look at the drawing like that. I can also play around with some other layers. Let's say we want to see the pencil sketch as well. Doesn't do much, but I could get rid of the strong blacks, for example. That looks pretty funny. Or let's get rid of the lines. Okay, but now let me sign this thing. And here we go, people. Bane done all digitally. It sure was fun doing a drawing total digitally, but I miss my paper real bad sometimes. But I have to admit, there are a lot of advantages in drawing digital. It's way easier in many aspects. The ability to watch the drawing from far away so fast and easy, that was the biggest advantage for me. You just have to do this and you can spot mistakes easily. And it also was really nice to zoom in properly to do all those little details. That's also very, very cool. But as fun as it was to do a total drawing on the iPad, the next one will be on paper again, that's for sure. But still I might be playing around with this thing every now and then. But that will be it for today guys, because I have to go to a digital award ceremony for the Julius Award. That's kind of the German Oscars for YouTube and I was nominated, so wish me luck. And if you like Bane, check out this video. That's the first one of a series where I tried to draw like David Finch. Really cool Bane. So see you there my friends.